what, what's your thoughts on Elon Musk purchasing uh, Big Share and Twitter? I do believe that he's behind certain very interesting business models. Twitter is uh, is a social network uh, and uh, is uh, the expression of a centralized business that need to make profit. And therefore, uh, Elon Musk, you know, just entering Twitter will, uh, you know, just uh, will have an impact uh, because t- Twitter, although it is uh, a tool used by many different uh, uh, thinkers in the crypto space is not a decentralized space and therefore it, need, it will be always intermediated uh, censored in some cases so I don't think that this will change just because Elon Musk took a substantial amount of shares in Twitter. If anything, I think uh, what will happen is that he will give, uh, uh, he will have an influence uh, over the, the general direction of the company. Whether it is positive or negative, this remains to be seen. But you don't think his free speech maximalism will uh, uh, sort of seep onto Twitter? Uh, this, this creates a, a quite a philosophical uh, conversation and discussion. Uh, for example, should should uh, uh, information that are deemed um, not objectively but deemed as false uh, and misleading and uh, potentially dangerous for the well-being of somebody uh, be broadcasted openly? I don't think so. But uh, some free speech maximalists might say that they have the same kind of right to to be expressed like everybody else. Well, we have the proof, for example, that uh, Facebook or uh, and other social media platform have been used by Russia in the past to, uh, you know, interfere with different general elections. And uh, I believe that there was also a lot of misinformation regarding COVID, for example, and uh, a lot of misinformation about a lot of different things. It's not up to me to establish if this misinformation, whom, need, whom needs to intermediate mediate or censor or not uh, this information. Every kind of company move inside of a, a legislative space which is objective and they cannot escape it. But within the confines of the law, they can do whatever they want because it's their own plateau. It's a really interesting talk. It's like a whole podcast on its own, basically. Just the, the topic of censorship and free speech maximalism. I was in a I was having a conversation about this with uh, somebody I, I work with quite closely uh, two days ago. And the, the general conclusion is, you know, the answer is non binary uh basically it's always on a case-by-case basis and there is if you're having the conversation on a just on a day-to-day basis the key thing that needs to be understood is that there's types of censorship and it, it, the types are too many for you to be able to grasp in one sitting or one casual conversation like it's a study on its own basically and you need to classify and clarify uh step by step because you might have somebody say like you know yeah censorship shouldn't exist and then uh you also pose the question of like okay so is it okay to post a isis beheading on facebook they'll be like no it's like but you just said so there's a lot of different angles to it 